here we are in our son's bedroom. <laughs> it's so not clean. So full transparency. Hot mess in here. I mean, like, oh my God. So we are going to be redoing this a little bit. That's the dog. Don't mind her. <laughs> um, we're going to be redoing things a little bit, moving around some stuff, taking some furniture out, um, putting some other stuff in that we have thrifted and all that. So just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like now. He has like a red Star Wars theme kind of going. We are so witching it up a little bit. So here is what we are working with in here. We're going to be getting rid of that desk, selling it and got him a new one. Um, well, a thrifted one. <laughs> um, the drum set's going to be coming out because he does not use that anymore. We're going to be moving the bed. That dresser over there is going to be coming out. Um, and we're going to utilize the closet more. Very dark closet. <laughs> Probably need some little puck lights in here or something. Um, but yeah, we're going to be changing things up a little bit. So here's what we have. So I just wanted to start off by taking everything out of this space. He had crazy amounts of stuff piled up over in this corner. Teenage life, I guess, not cleaning your room, <laughs> no matter how many times I say. But I just needed to take some time to get everything out of this area. I wanted to start on one side of the room and work my way to the other. I'm now just moving this um, dresser out of my way so that I can get a good vacuum back there. It was pretty gross. Um, and it needed a good vacuum. I am now just going to be setting up his um, keyboard. Um, this is where he wanted it, kind of in this nook in this corner. So I'm just giving it a good wipe down and I'm gonna be setting it up right there. Um, so that he can play in his little gaming corner. I'm now just taking down some of these decorations. Like I said, Star Wars things are gonna be going, um, but I wanna work on this space now, giving the walls a good wipe down in some areas because there were some spots that were a little questionable, um, and also giving the carpet a good vacuum before I replace the shoe rack and um, the air purifier. Um, but there are going to be some other things going on the wall in this area. I'm now just going to be taking this um, dresser outside, so I wanted to remove all of the drawers and just get them out um, of the room. We're going to be putting this in the garage until we have our garage sale because we do not need this dresser anymore. This was actually my son's changing table when he was very young. So I wanted to show you guys some real teenageness right here. Um, the lighting in his room is terrible. We're bringing lots more lights in here, so I hope you can see. Um, am I the only one that has a teenager? I might need some flash. Oh, it won't let me do it. So it won't let me turn flash on for some reason, but look at all of that underneath this bed. Like why? Like absolutely why? <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only teenager parent or the only parent in general that looks under their kid's bed and thinks how unnecessary. <laughs> You're now going to see me and my husband carrying in my son's new desk. Um, this was actually thrifted from the Salvation Army. It was um, $19, I believe. I just spray painted it with some white spray paint. I'm now attempting to plug all of his electronics back in the right way. He did tell me after the reveal, I almost had it, but I plugged in one cord wrong just one, but I did almost have everything set back up exactly the way it was supposed to be. Um, so I was, I was pretty close, A for effort, I think. But here I am just giving everything a wipe down so I can get his gaming center um, in place the way he kind of specified that he wanted it to look.
you can see I'm struggling because there's another HDMI cable in here and I was like, but why? Why do we need two? It turns out it wasn't even for that, but I was very, very confused. Um, these also went in the trash, um, these LED lights. They were not having untangled, so I, I tossed them. We're now working on the opposite side of the room where his bed is gonna go. Again, some questionable spots on the wall, so I just wanna get some of those spots wiped down. Since we did not paint in here, um, it was painted when we moved in. Um, a pretty decent color, so we didn't really need to paint in here. I am going to be giving a good vacuum in this area, um, especially along the baseboards, because the amount of broken crayon pieces and Legos and things um, is, is just kind of crazy. Um, we're now just scooting the bed over. My husband made a funny comment, like, can we take the plastic off? Do you think he's old enough now? I was like, yeah, honestly, I just left it on not thinking about it when we set up his room when we moved in about um, two and a half years ago so I'm like yeah we can get rid of the plastic. Of course you have to remove everything from underneath the bed that we saw um, in that previous clip and then I will be scooting the bed frame over closer to the window. This bed frame is not heavy at all but it has grippers on the bottom and it was really really getting stuck. Um, we fast forwarded a little bit. Some of the clips didn't take very well or we were in front of the camera and didn't realize it. We're new to this. So we're just making the bed. These are some new sheets that I got. Um, just a fitted sheet and that was from Target. These pillowcases are from Walmart. And we're using his same pillows. He does need new pillows though. They're very thin. I don't even know how he sleeps. Now I am in the closet. I'm just going through some of the toys and things that he has in his closet um, so that we can make some space. And hint, hint, this door does not stay open. So if it's driving you nuts that it keeps opening and closing, it was driving me insane the whole time. I looked inside of that bucket that I just carried away and realized, wow, it's absolutely disgusting. So I will be spraying that bucket out. Right now I'm just trying to um, really keep toys um, on that top shelf since he doesn't have a lot of them um, and really save room for clothes on the other shelves. This bucket, guys, was absolutely gross. It was bad. So now I'm just placing all of the Nerf dumps back in. You'll see I actually found a Rubik's Cube and that's how I kept the door open. Um, because it was driving me insane, the door kept closing on me. So I put a toy as a doorstop just so I could film this part without the door moving. All right, so here's the progress so far. It's very tight space in here. Um, I need to hang out the rest of his clothes, but a lot of his clothes are just like on the floor and stuff. So I need to reclean them because I don't know what's clean and what's dirty. Um, so we're going to hang up most of his clothes, including pants. But then I'm going to get a few bins to go in here. Um, he doesn't play with a lot of toys. He has his Nerf guns. Um, and then I think I might need to get another bin for this because it's like overflowing. But he doesn't have a lot of like toy toys anymore. He's 14, almost 15. So electronics is his deal. Um, and that's all going to go in the bookcase. Um, but just some random things up here. This is one of his toys from when he was a kid from his um, favorite uncle ever. Um, an old Xbox 360 baby book, stuff like that. Um, so I think I'm going to get a few bins here. We got hats. Um, and then we need to do like socks, underwear. Um, he has a lot of like, um, like skull hats or skull caps for winter time. So I'm going to get a few bins here so we can organize that stuff. Um, cause his shoes used to be in here, but he has the shoe rack now. So, um, and then his shorts have been for like his basketball shorts. Um, cause he likes to wear those a lot in his sweatpants, but then everything else, I think like his jeans and things, we're just going to hang up cause he doesn't really wear them. Very often, he's a basketball short sweatpants kind of kid. Even I'm like, even though I'm like, please put on some jeans, look like a person. Um, but I think we're just going to hang all of that just because there's not a lot of like storage space. So I'm going to go get the bookshelf that's going to go right there from Target. And it is a lot on this wall. I think it's going to be a lot on this wall, but we're working with what we got. Um, Star Wars stuff is going to go. Um, bed, we got to get that all in order. And... Um, all of that stuff has to go in the bookshelf, so. 
All right, so now that we are back from the store, the bookshelf is put together. The clips were getting really long, so I didn't really know what to film or what not to film. Now I'm just going through all of this crazy mess and trying to organize it the best I can, where it makes sense in this open shelving because you want it to look nice, but also he's 14. He has to be able to put it back, um, and it can't be like too, too detail organized, if you know what I mean for a teenager. There's my pupper. Ben and Marie, my love. <laughs> um, I went to the store probably three times during this process. Um, and I know on here, at least when I watch these kinds of videos, I think, oh my gosh, the room just comes together so quickly and so beautifully. And look at everything that they just had just right there laying around. And I know that's not how room makeovers work because I do them in my home, but I've never filmed one. Um, so just so you know, it doesn't all go perfectly. Um, I was doing this all day, all day. And so late into the evening, um, and finally had to quit because I'm like, I have to get up in the morning. So it might look really fast on camera and everything just comes together. But I went to the store several times. I got frustrated several times. Um, things did not turn out the way I wanted several times. So just know if you do a makeover, it might not turn out perfect the way you think um, in every single step of the way, but you can do it. Um, and eventually you will see the light at the end of the tunnel and things will start coming together. You can kind of peek in the corner here and see all of the disaster that's going on in the other part of the basement because of everything we're doing in my son's room. It's just crazy. Like, look at all that mess. Um, I'm now just getting ready to hang some artwork that I created for him. If you follow us on Instagram, I put a short little video um, of this artwork uh, drying. It was really simple using um, Dollar Tree products. I made this and he actually really loved these two pieces of art and we have plans to make a bigger one um, that's kind of similar to add to his room as well because he liked them so much. We are now just working on the bed, getting the bed made. This is actually an old comforter that we had. We eventually want to get him a brand new one. But budget was um, an issue considering you know, don't get paid over the summer and we do have other things that we want to be doing in the home too. Um, so we just kind of repurposed this um, blanket that we used to have on our bed. We did, however, get these pillows on sale at Walmart, $5 for this two pack. Um, they had some other patterns as well. So a good time to check out that sale because $5 for two pillows was a really good deal. I don't know if the sale's still going. But since he wanted yellow, we thought these were perfect um, and they weren't too girly. It was very hard to find things that weren't too feminine um, or too girly for this makeover, considering yellow was the color that he chose. I'm just putting some decor over here on the nightstand, um, a little plant that he had requested um, and just some fragrance reeds um, because, well, teenage boys room. <coughs> We're rolling. So we're, we're doing this, huh? Yeah. All right. Pay attention to the door. But here's the big reveal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Here we go, yo.
Yeah. What are your thoughts? Well, these are my thoughts. <laughs> are you sure you didn't do everything? I mean, almost. It looks like you did everything. Well, I feel like we need to get some artwork over here. This is a little bear over there. Great. Oh, we got this here, too. Yeah. Hey, Google. Make the lights blue. Oh, they're already colored. You made them yellow. I didn't do that. Oh, no, I didn't make them yellow. Oh, well, they were yellow, apparently. <laughs> I like it. Thanks. You like it? You're welcome. You said